This is Salamancer, and did you know that the Spartans actually originally invented the myth of Santa Claus? They, uh, you know, he would come to your house and beat you with a pick until you screamed for mercy, and then if you were a really good kid, he might give you a present. But, uh, no, that was actually what, what, what. Just kidding. It was, uh, I totally made that up. And we do have a game today between 420TF2 and Jamtown Jesus Chamboree. Which, uh, or is that Jam? Yeah, I think it's Jamboree. Although it's kind of spelled weird. Uh, anyway, it's going to be a cute little match here. And ESEA opened the last match of the season for both of these teams. And I saw the score and just had to go. Oh, man. Just had to go with it. So, uh, St. Ranga very quickly getting on top of the soldier. And you'll notice there that what he did, he uh, jumped in after the soldier medic combo. He saw the medic and he was just like, no, I don't want to get that kill. I want to take down the soldier because they needed some damage class picks. They couldn't get them. And so, uh, Team Get5, a.k.a. Um, that is Team 420, the old 420 TF2 team, which is now called Is This CS. So you guys are confusing me so much. But, uh, so Is This CS, a.k.a. 420 TF2, a.k.a. Get5, all three of those mean the same thing whenever I say them. Um, off to an early lead. They capped mid. They've actually got an uber advantage, although they probably don't realize it because they didn't kill Mr. Slynn from Team Saint, the Jamtown Jesus Jamboree. And so, uh, looks like our our Jamboree kids are going to probably back away from this as well. I don't know, they can probably contest second, but they're taking a lot of spam right now. And the more red pushes, they almost have this already. Um, there you go. Blue team does have a soldier standing there right now trying to block the capture, but it's not going to last very long. There you go. Oh, time's two on the capture, and they have it now. So now our blue team needs to back away, and look at the kills that Red has gotten. Mr. Slynn trying not to have to pop this uber, but it's almost too late. He's probably going to have to pop just because here comes the push onto the point right now. There you go. He pops. He's going to walk over to the point. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Problem is, now you're going to have... Uh, wow. Okay, so... Now you're going to have the rest of the Red team trying to... Oh, nice! Uh, jump up there in the air to get the kill. Uh, does it matter? Red team still has a couple players in, but uh, Wall of Flesh here Ends up taking down what, 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 and I think our blue team should be good. By the way, Saint Wall of Flesh, um, probably the the patron saint of disgusting things. Seriously, that's one of the weirdest names I've ever seen, especially including the uh, the tag there. Jake Steele decided to instead of getting five, get damaged and then get dead. And without your demo man, I mean, it's it's tough to hold off a push. On the other hand, there's no demo man for blue team either, and they're also missing a scout. So they are going to have to stay on second. They're going to hold out here for a little while. Uh, and their scout still is coming up. Wall of Flash must have died very, very recently. So uh, here comes the push from red team. They don't even have the Uber yet, but Wireless Fox is nearly, nearly there. Uh, and so red team deciding that they want to try and get in and just deal some damage and see if they can get a pick, see if they can chip away at their opponents. Now, I, I do think, let's see, yeah, Rocket Wizard going to try and lead the charge. He's taking a lot of hits, but it doesn't matter. He is going to get in and force the Uber very quickly. He wants to try and force a multi-Uber, but he can't right now. So these uh, these guys are just dancing around with their Ubers on top of each other. I think maybe our blue medic is in a little bit of trouble here. He should not have stayed in for that long. Mr. Slynn now down. And in return, there goes Rocket Wizard. But it doesn't matter too much as blue or, uh, red team caps point once again. So is this CS is now looking like they want to pressure last with a bit of a player advantage, and they have a medic. So the more uh, the more chip damage they can do, the better. But it looks like the medic has come back up for our blue team, and so the Jamtown Jesus Jamboree gonna go for the pick on the demo. Can they get him? Not yet. Actually, Jake Steele just got two awesome kills there on Guan and Ranga. That's a uh, soldier and a scout down, and already the blue team is losing players. They are hemorrhaging right now, and they do not want to lose this last point. But I don't know what they can do at this point because they lost their medic again. All Red has to do now is back away, get the Uber, and push right back in with a player advantage, an Uber advantage, everything. Uh, what, what, what? Going up to the top. He's going to peek around here. I... Of course, if you guys have watched this channel for a long time, you probably have heard the name Wat 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 before, which I think is hilarious. And here goes the Uber right now. Ranga's going to be standing up on top of this pipe, looks and sees that scout jumping into the second pipe there, but not quite able to hit him. He's too focused on the scout to realize what else is going on over on the point. Our red team, once again, looks like they want to set up some stickies and, and etc. Traps on the point there as Mr. Slynn and Frugal, the only ones left alive. Mr. Slynn, the medic, taken down. It's just Frugal, and he can't really stop this by himself. There's four players here. He is uh, holding out for a surprisingly long time. Uh, Jake even laughing about that one. I don't think he, I don't think he liked uh, just how long that took. But they're gonna be okay. And there you go. Is this CS is now leading one to zero here on CP Granary. ESEA Open, the end of the season.
And so now we're going to see whether is this CS can get out there and win another mid-fight like they did last time around. It was looking really good for... Er, uh, now that I think about it, did they win that? I'm actually really confused right now. One team, one last mid-fight. That's, that's what we're going to say. And here comes the pills right now. Looks like he's out of, uh, out of stickies for the moment. And there you go. A very good mid-fight win from the Saints. Although, uh, Nyx Knight comes in, kills Saint Wall of Flesh, who is trying to bomb in after the medic, and actually both those scouts there going after Wireless Fox, who really didn't get that low on health even. He's now back up to 150 with that kit. Uh, so, the thing is, I, th I don't... Well, I, okay, so I wouldn't agree with the, uh, the Jesus Jamboree folks' decision to push in here. That is, if they hadn't just been handed the yard, but they actually, nobody was out there defending it, so they are perfectly fine to do exactly that. They have captured yard, and now they're going to have a bunch of uh, players getting those forward spawn, including both the scouts who did die trying to chase after the medic. Uh, so they, once their scouts are in position, I think we're going to see a little bit of aggression, probably, but it's tough to push in here, I mean, no matter what you're trying to do. And are they going to get it? Are they going to do it? I don't know. Got to find a player here to watch. Watch Jake steal for a little bit. He's probably got some traps set up in various areas. Yes, he does. He's got one right above that door. You can see it over there on the exit sign. He's just going to replace one of those stickies. Sounds like there was somebody upstairs, and so he's going to probably have to try and pipe through there a little bit. And there you go. Frugal tries to walk through the door, ends up not paying enough attention, eats that sticky trap, and already that's a one-player advantage for our red team, so I think they're probably going to want to push on that, but they got to be careful. There's going to be a scout upstairs. I, I just saw its silhouette. I don't think Jake caught that. But there is probably going to be a scout upstairs behind the red team right now. Let me see if I can uh, get a picture of that. That's one back around there. Nope, they are both backing out, so no, they're okay. Ooh, a little scattergun shot there. Um, and Za is now heading upstairs just to watch and see whether anybody decides to go up there. He's watching the flanks like a good scout should. Wap, 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 doing the same thing. And actually, the roaming soldier doing that as well. And you'll notice they're not really making use of the drop down. That's because the drop down is terrible and everybody expects you to use it. So, I mean, even at ESCA open level, they're pretty much just like, don't use drop down. Except every once in a while when you do a really weird trick play like hiding your entire team for back cap. But even then, I mean, I've, I've seen that fail so miserably that it's just... <laughs> it's not worth it, guys. Don't use back cap. Dare to resist back caps. Or drop downs, I mean. Um, here comes the Uber now from our blue team, and they actually had it forced as they pushed in here. And so now the counter Uber is down from our red team. They're going to have this quite a bit longer. And Rocket Wizard... Starting to try and deal a bunch of damage. He does take down Mr. Slynn, so no medic left for the blue team. And look at how damaged their players are. Oh, wow. Nice kill on Ranga as well. So Rocket Wizard is definitely conjuring up some rocket spells right now. His uh, his aim spell and his high damage spell and all that. Jake Steele cleaning it up there too. Kills a scout, which is a tough thing to do with those stickies, but he did. So now we've got our get five team. Is the CS once again pushing forward? There is a back cap attempt, but I think it's going to get stopped as Za is at full health right now. And there you go. That does get stopped. Uh, good good job of the rest of the team to actually come back and help them out. They don't want to lose that too fast. Where is that soldier? Yeah, Rocket Wizard, the only man on mid right now. So, well, there you go. He does get some help from a scout, and the rest of his friends are coming up now. So, I don't know. The, the Saints team could have actually pushed in and taken out Rocket Wizard, but they have not now. And Rocket Wizard is playing a pretty good pocket. He's checking every single one of these doors for Sticky Traps. Wants to make sure he doesn't eat that too much. Although he ate that pill right there. That, you know, dropped right down in his face. Needs ammo now, too. And the Uber's ready for Wireless Fox. So they're probably going to push in with the Rocket Wizard once again. Oh, uh, eating a lot of damage, though, as they try to do that. And there is the Sticky Trap. He's going to have to take down those sticks while not dying. And he's probably going to die. Oh, they did have to pop the Uber a little bit early. So that's bad force there for our red team. Um, going for the kill on the scout, and he does take down Guan, so at least it's not completely over. And actually, he's just trying to walk back inside there. A little bit of a weird decision. I mean, it, it did force the blue team out of position just a bit, but there goes Wireless Fox, and so the red team's even worse off right now. Uh, where is that guy? Wall of Flesh getting some kills of his own, too, actually. Cleanup kills there, Platt and Nyx Knight both down. Now Za trying to help take down players, but that's not going to happen either. Our red team did just decisively lose that. And so, even though they are ahead in the points right now, it looks like is this CS uh, may end up being in a position to lose this round. Jake Steele tried to jump in there, and I think he ended up getting air piped. Um, and then Frugal getting a kill on Rocket Wizard as well. So the Rocket Wizard, apparently one of his spells backfired, and he ate the rocket instead of dealing the damage with it. Juan already pushing out 
I want to say Guano because that's funnier. But no, his name is Guan. He's already pushing out through there. Helps get the kill on Bwat Bwat Bwat. There's only three up really in position to defend right now for our red team. And Guan already trying to peek towards last. Uh, he's really just going to do some chip damage there at the enemy medic, which isn't really going to help too much as they were already building that Uber anyway. So not, not a huge deal. But here comes the uh, push right now with the Uber. And Guan takes down Wireless Fox. Beautiful play there. He's now going to get onto the point. And nobody's there to stop him because most of them are dead. GR. It's a good round to our friends from the Jamtown Jesus Jamboree in the blue. And I'm, we could watch the, the Equalizer roll out, I guess. But let's not do that. Let's watch MCV. The MC. They. You know, I'm going to call them MC. I feel like I should know who this is, but I don't. But the Jam Town, Jesus Jamboree, going to get out here to mid once again and start laying down some stickies right away over on the right-hand side. Looks like MC's a little bit slower. Those uh, red sticks were already there. He is doing some good damage to this soldier on top of the crate, though, and now starting to try and spam with the pills. Uh, not hitting with too many of those, and they have lost two. Now three, four players. Mr. Slynn was taken down. Uh, he's going for the kill here on Wireless Fox, but looks like Fox already grabbed that kit. And so it's just um, Saints and... Wow, Zah. You are a baller. Running in there and getting two cleanup kills. Very, very quick succession. Nobody was even able to stop him. And now he is getting that second point as well. So is this CS, a.k.a. the old 420 TF2 team, grabbing the second point without much opposition? They should be able to push towards last here fairly soon. They've, they've got 100% Uber. I don't know why they're not doing it right now. Are they waiting for a player here, maybe? Um, because they killed Mr. Slynn. they got to know that. What are they waiting for? Well, they do know that there's a sniper, I guess. I think they just heard the sniper shot, so let's see. Uh, nope, they are going to push now. And Rocket Wizard is going to use his uh, spell of invulnerability to jump straight towards the enemies. And didn't actually get that kill quite yet. There you go. Frugal's now down. Three players down already for the blue team. And once you lose three, and it's three on five in a last defense situation, this is so hard to deal with. There goes the demo man. No more sticks on that point. And that's another round win for Is the CS. A nice and quick one. Pretty sweet. So let's see, is Rocket Wizard the one who's doing the Equalizer rollouts? Uh, yes, he is, so we don't want to watch that. Let's watch the Nyx Knight, though, and see how a soldier jumps out to mid. He's going to take those tires. Um, I've actually seen some soldiers do, like, a double jump there, but he wants to make sure he stays with the medic. And Rocket Wizard, actually, you saw he gets down to one health there. Um, that's not good, because I think Equalizer speed pretty much maxes out at about 50 health, 49, something like that. So getting down to one health actually means just a little bit more time that your medic has to spend healing you, even with the crit heals. That does matter. Um... A good direct hit there from the Rocket from Nyx Knight, and he's going to be jumping in, trying to deal some damage to the blue team, but, uh, you got to back up a little bit. He's going to now, I wonder, they actually shouldn't be backing out of here. They did just lose Jake Steele and Bwap 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 in the retreat, but I think they actually could have stayed in, even though they had low health. Um, if they if they had played like they didn't have low health, just jump in on top of their opponents and get in there, start dealing some damage, focus some players, they could have done really well. Instead, they gave up mid to the Saints. The Jam Town, Jesus, I keep wanting to say Jamestown, Jesus Jamboree, who are now pushing out. They've gotten a kill on Rocket Wizard, and here goes the Uber. Wireless Fox has popped, and that is not effective at all. They're trying to get out there and just deal a little bit of unreturned damage, force the pop out of Blue a little bit early, and they did. Uh, there are some stickies in the point now, which is going to, of course, detonate. They don't do any damage, but they can still send players flying, disconnect them from the Uber. And now it's just a question of how long until our blue team pushes in. They've already got a one-player advantage, and they're trying to kill this other scout back here. Bwap, Bwap, Bwap is down. Yeah, blue should push in right now. Got a huge advantage in terms of the players, and I think they're going to do just that. Mr. Slynn's pretty hurt, but they are pushing in, I hope. No, not really. Maybe. I can't tell. Yes, they are. Okay, but they're not all in there at the same time. Uh, and Mr. Slynn actually just got taken down. There go a lot of the Saints. MC still up, still dealing good damage. He did just knock this soldier way up into the air there, who is going to take another rocket, finally dies. It's 2v2 right now with Ranga and MC versus uh, the two scouts. And the two scouts eat a rocket and a pipe apiece. That is going to be that round for the Jamtown Jesus Jamboree, the Saints in the blue. It's 2-2, two to two, guys. And no, I'm not talking about the Super Bowl right now with the Saints. No, I am talking about TF2. Um, I don't even know. Are the Saints still in it? I don't think they are anymore. I could be wrong, though. I don't follow football that closely. But MC is taking the same rollout we saw before, the right-hand side thing, and he may just walk straight out of the garage. We'll see. No, he is going to go upstairs and lay down some stickies from the high ground. It's always fun. Uh, didn't hit too many of them just yet, and actually missed that last pill there. He lost his medic immediately on mid. 
and is trying to lay down some sticks, but it's a little bit too late. His, most of his team is dead here. Wipe, 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 trying to come in and finish up the kill on Frugal, who took a little bit of damage. Actually, wipe, wipe, wipe took more. Wireless Fox, though, getting his Uber Charge up. Putting his health up now, and he's going to do just that. Where are these sticky traps? That's the question. Where is the demo man? There you go. MC got... He has to have set some sticky traps somewhere. Okay, so there is one above this door. And I don't see any in the hubcap or anything. This is pretty much just above that door. Okay. Well, he's going to be watching that for sure. And actually, wall of flesh on the spy right now. Did he just get spotted? I think he just got spotted. That sucks. Actually, how did he just escape that? No, he didn't. Okay. <laughs> he, he almost actually managed to dodge that. I was, I was kind of confused. But that's going to be a player advantage for our red team, who are now pushing in with the Uber. Ranga's just standing upstairs right now, waiting for somebody to jump into him. Tries to get the kill. Can't quite do it. And now uh, the Saints losing three players already after this Uber is over. Mr. Sling doesn't even have his Uber ready yet, and somebody's chasing him down right now. He's got to try and get the scout kill, but it doesn't even matter. That's the round and the half. Is this CS ahead? 3-2. I am definitely going to lose my voice after this match because it has been some pretty good action so far. Uh, kind of standard fare for Granary in that there's some stalemates here and there, but even during the stalemates we get to watch players spamming at each other and taking uh, just a bit more damage than they should. So that's always fun, and we get to see some spy action. Spy is getting caught out, which is, I mean, basically that's why they just aren't using 6v6 all that much, because if you do, do one wrong thing, if you are bumped for any reason, you are doomed, and that just means you're down a player. So, no fun at all. Uh, Mr. Slynn's down. Wireless Fox is up here in the second half. I don't know, though, because there's a lot of players left alive for our red team. Oh, Frugal and Guan both taken out. And MC... No, MC's still in. I thought he'd just respawn, but he actually didn't. Uh, he could... I think he did actually get the kill on the medic. So both medics down. Mr. Slynn up again, but he doesn't have anybody to heal. So they are both about going to be at the same uber percentage. Maybe about... Seven or five seconds off or whatever. Ranga and Mr. Slinner are both building up right now while the point is captured for the blue team. Which, of course, remember they swapped sides. So blue team is now... Is this CS? Who is leading? They're leading. So. Let's see what happens. Somebody in stream chat actually was just asking if Vanilla TF2 was dead. Uh, and they aren't. They cast stuff. So, nope. Definitely cast stuff, and I do like to cast with them as well. They offered to have me cast with them yesterday, but I really couldn't because I was at work, and uh, work is crazy. Let's see what happens here as the Saints try and regain their footing in the yard, doing some pretty good damage to that uh, soldier, but it's all getting healed up right now by Wireless Fox. Jake Steele sneaking around here as well, so I think that the yard is going to belong to Team Get5. Good sticky trap there from Jake Steele, and good detonation to kill Saint Ranga. Here comes the Uber now from Mr. Slynn. He's popped it, and he's going to try and force pop. Yeah, there you go. Forces it out of the blue team. So now the question is, what happens after the Ubers are over? And I think the answer is that since... Oh, Mr. Uh, yeah, Mr. Slynn has gone down. I think that's definitely going to be a big win for Is This CS. Uh, they've got actually only three players up, so they need to back away from this. Or just, you know, go for crazy kills or something. A um, little bit of a mistake, in my opinion. Wireless Fox and Rocket Wizard could have just gotten out of there, and instead they tried to go for the kills. Frugal and MC both at very low health, but they couldn't kill anyone. Um, oh, nice, though. Bwap, bwap, bwap was waiting in the Z area, and usually a check for that, but it looks like he just caught them unawares. Ranga ends up getting the kill there. And uh, it looks like the Saints are now trying to cap mid. They're going to have to contend with the Scout and the Soldier, and Nyx Knight is doing some good damage right now. Taking the jump up here, but he does see an incoming Soldier Medic combo. There goes Frugal, though, so already the Soldier Medic combo looking a little bit weaker. Uh, Guan taking a lot of overheals right now from the Medic, and they're actually really backed up into this corner. They need to get out of there right now. Yeah, there, there they go. Don't want to be in that corner for very long because you can start taking spam that you can't do anything about. And so Guan's just going to start watching the garage again. As you as you want to do for a scout. In fact, a lot of times you want your scouts to stay over on the right hand side of that garage because they can wrap around very quickly to help defend on the left if need be. Wap 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 just ate a pipe though. Not really what you want to be doing in a situation like that because now I think, yeah, the Saints are going to try to push. They've got to be careful because there could be sticky traps all over the place, but the Uber is popped very quickly. They're going to try and force the pop out of wireless, and they do. So that's going to be both Ubers down, but the uh, the red Uber is going to be significantly earlier ending than the blue. And so the question is now what happens? St. Juan goes down. 
Jake Steele's kind of trying to wrap around here to the side as well for the Get 5 team, although he did just take a bit of damage from that soldier. He should be able to shut down this choke point very easily. Uh, Nick's Knight spots Mr. Slim but can't make anything happen. So is this CS once again in control of the middle point? But this is still 0 0 in the second half, so it's still 3 2 basically for is this CS. And the points right now are telling a pretty good story. Um, for a while there, Za was actually ahead of points of his medic, which means he was doing a crazy job. Mr. Slynn, meanwhile, uh, going pretty huge there as the medic. And MC getting his uh, getting his demo on right now. Let me find the Za cam and see what he does during a push like this. He's probably going to be trying to clean up, if anything, waiting for the uh, damage classes to do a lot of damage and then, then clean up. But uh, we'll see. And he does take a couple bot shots there at the soldier. Gets away without hitting himself at all with those uh, rockets that were fired at him. And, best yet, he's got crit heals. So it only takes like half a second to buff him up to 185 health. And he's a scary little scout again. There you go, did take a couple hits that time. So this is the ultimate in stalemate fest. Well, not the ultimate. It's a very common stalemate anyway because of these really narrow choke points and players just not wanting to go back to like change class or anything so it's gonna take a while guys we're in here for the long haul hope you're feeling especially sexy today I know I am anyway is this CS is basically just spamming the garage that I don't even know if that was even worth wasting the ammo. Sounds like a demo man did just get hit there. Yeah, Jake Steele is getting hit by this scout, actually pressuring in really hard here and very close to that kill, but now Wall of Flesh is down. Um, yeah. He did see that Jake Steele was sort of overextended in his own area. I, I just don't agree with that push that Wall of Flesh made at all. And yeah, they are trying to get the push on right now. There's got to be a sticky trap over here, though. There isn't. There isn't, so the stickies are gone. Uh, and that means that Yard is held now by is this CS. They are going to try to push in here pretty soon. I want to find the Zai cam. Come on, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Zai, get some kills for me. Get five kills. That would be pretty crazy. Get six. Even better. And he's just going to start watching the flank for the moment. I think is this CS. Once you're out in Yard like this, you've got a much better chance of pushing in two last. They are watching the drop down furiously right now. Look at that. Making sure nothing happens here. Let's go see if there's anything up in the drop town. No, there's not. Whoosh. Oh, these soldiers, a soldier and scout, I should say. Shooting down the hallway. Just trying to deal some damage. It's not going to matter. Uh, our blue team is in a good position. But I think they should push in at this point. I mean, pushing second from yard is a lot easier than pushing yard from mid. And even if you've got even ubers, you can make something happen. Zah had to run all the way back there for ammunition. It's a little bit weird. But I guess that's, that makes sense since you want to leave the close by ammunition pack. There is only one ammo pack out here, by the way. And it's right there. So you want to leave that in position for your soldiers in demo. St. Frugal is now down. St. Frugal, of course, the patron saint of Chase Bank. And uh, now is this CS losing a couple players here? They really don't want to be doing this, and they need to pop the Uber. There they go. They have popped it to save the soldier, try to save their push, uh, but they really can't right now. They can't even force their opponents to multi-Uber to flash it to multiple players. So already, uh, their Uber is faded way before Mr. Slain's did. Mr. Slain didn't really push out with it, though. He's waiting for the rest of his team to get in position. Now they are there. This scout is going to die. Boy, 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 eats a couple scatter guns from Wall of Flesh and Guan. And the is this CS team is backing away from this furiously because I think the Saints should be able to get back out onto mid and turn this game around. Uh, might tie it up once again. Especially... No, okay, they don't have any advantage. And they just lost for goal, so that kind of sucks, actually. They, I thought they were going to be able to push harder than that, but then it looked like our uh, is this CS team managed to hold on to mid, hold, hold on to those little choke points that are so nasty to deal with. Wireless Fox has his Uber ready to go for Is This CS, and I think once again they're going to try to push. Let's find a good camera for this. We probably want to be on the Rocket Wizard cam. He will take most of that. They're just getting the overheals now, and they're going to maybe push upstairs? No, why, why, why died. They shouldn't push anymore. They've lost a player. They've gotten a kill now, but uh, pushing 5 on 5 is a weird situation to be in. Now they've lost the Rocket Wizard too. Yeah, nope. That's going to actually probably be a red push, I think, and that was my chair. Before you before you start looking behind you to see if your parents are coming in the door, uh, it's definitely my chair. 
All right, there we go. So our red team does pop the Uber now, and it is immediately countered by Wireless Fox. Um, that soldier just got jumped so far up in the air. Must have hit a sticky or something, as well as Rocket jumping himself. And the Saints, once again, hold on to their yard. They're pushing their opponents back into the garage, and that means that we're going to see another one of these crazy granary stalemates from yard to mid. Oh, boy! <laughs> But no, this is uh, this has actually been a pretty awesome game so far. It's been a long one though, um, so you know if, if you're one of those guys who skipped to the end instead of listening to Salamander talk about this entire game, well, you know, that's all I have to say to you. That's it. Jake is starting to spam through that window. Back away for a little while though, and Rocket Wizard now doing some spam. So it's just spam right now. That's all it is. If if one player can like get juggled, caught, whatever, killed, that's when you start seeing uh, a little bit of a push. Or when one player gets bored, like Wall of Flesh did last time around, and dives in after the demo man and then gets killed, that can also mean a push. But for right now, it is not going to be anything of the sort. As our red team just kind of stands in the yard and doesn't really know what to do about this. They want to wait for their opponents to push into them, because pushing through those, uh... Oh wow, I just realized that this round because nobody has actually captured a point in the last 10 minutes, it is very, very close to just ending, and they're going to restart. I don't think I've ever actually seen that happen in a competitive game, but it can happen. And, oh, a couple of good kills here. Zaz down, but so is Mr. Slin, actually. Three players just died there from our blue team. They did pop the Uber, but we'll see what happens. There you go. We're probably going to see our red team get the cap on mid. Jake Steele's trying to run in and stop this. I don't know if he can, though. Uh, yeah, there's three players there, including... Wow, actually, the medic is... Are you kidding me? They're going for a back cap. That's not going to work at all. Uh, so the Is This CS team just did something ridiculous? And it isn't paying off. On the other hand, Mr. Slin's not healing anyone right now, which is a little bad for his team because they could have a huge uber advantage, and instead they don't. Maybe five seconds. And nope, Mr. Slin decides to change spawn again, so not even that. They're going to be even on ubers. Welp. The Saints still do hold second, so they will have a couple shots here to push in and attack that last point. And Wipe Wipe White's on the heavy. So let's just watch the heavy cam for a little while, see where he's getting to. Uh, he's actually hanging pretty far back with the medic. He's just going to stay under these pipes, try and prevent people from jumping straight on his head. And he used that minigun to stop jumpers, to deal a lot of damage on anybody who tries to get too close to this point. Now actually going up on the pipe. And he's going to use this sort of like as an anti-aircraft gun. Maybe, yep, going to jump onto this little, uh, this little deal. Light post. There we go. That's what it is. Uh, Rocket Wizard and Boy 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 taking out Wall of Flesh, but not before Boy 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 actually took a lot of damage. Now Nick's Knight is down as well. I would almost push on that. You know, they've killed a uh, soldier. They lost a scout. And they, of course, they know they get a, a much better respawn time. So, I don't know. They could have pushed on it. But they didn't. And Boy 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 with the heavy uh, is now fully overhealed. Yeah, I, I just think that because of all the damage they did to that heavy, they really could have pushed in and focused it very quickly. Uh, Wireless Fox popped that Uber really early, and it is going to force the quick early Uber out of the Saints as well, but um, I think that was maybe a bit of a mistake by is this CS. And that's three versus three. Three damage classes alive for our red team. They're trying to get on the point. They can't quite get it. Oh, it's so close, and there you go. The medic walked across the point but didn't stay on it. Got taken down by the bottle after the round was over. And uh, it is now finally 3-3 three to three with about 17 minutes left in the half. I love it when the ESEA config breaks, and I can actually see how much time is left. That is my favorite thing. Uh, MC's going to be a little bit slow out there. Well, a lot slow, actually. He's just kind of bungled his rollout a little bit, hitting one too many uh, roofs and whatever else. Roofs. Like what, uh, is that like what dogs do? I don't know. Uh, MC, though, is going to start walking up these stairs and laying down some stickies on the soldiers. Looks like it doesn't matter that he was that late because he's laying down some, some quick damage there on the left-hand side. Uh, this scout could be the first man to go down. And there you go. Wap, wap, wap was the first man to go down. So I was saying this scout. I meant him. I totally did. I called that. You don't believe me, do you? Well, anyway, uh, why this box steals that health kit from it? Guan just walks right in front of him. And he's like, yeah, I don't care if you're here. I don't care if you meet you at me. Whatever. I'm, uh, I'm the ultimate medic. And now Jake Steele's trying to escape 
from this demo man, and it looks like he will be able to do just that. The blue Uber does get popped, and Rocket Wish is going to use that Uber to rocket jump towards his opponents. Um, he does see some spam coming in, though, and realizes he can't really deal with that. So, going to get back on mid. But at the very least, is the CS once again in control of the middle point? I'm reading my stream chat right now. Sorry about that. I don't even understand what's going on in there anymore. But Rocket Wizard overhealed, going to probably jump in because, yeah, there you go. The red team has decided to back away from Yard, even though they do have six players up. I'm a little confused by that. But they're going to stand on the last point. No, the second point. This isn't the last point. So if you've never watched TF2 before, this is probably not the greatest cast for you, is it? Anyway, they are going to stand on the second point and try to hold onto it for as long as possible. They've got an uber advantage, but they may not realize... Well, no, they should realize it. But it's not going to be really enough to push on anymore yet. It's about 10% difference. That's, that amounts to maybe 5 seconds, if that. And now both teams have 100% uber. So whichever team attacks first pretty much loses here, just because the defenders will have the advantage of being able to hold on to the uber for longer. As long as they don't lose any players before they pop that uber, they'll be fine. And it looks like blue team is deciding to attack here. They lost Rocket Wizard to us. That's the same sticky trap he's hit before, actually. I want to point that out. This this little exit sign right there? He's died to that twice now. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Just ate a couple rockets, and with Rocket Wizard down... Yeah, our red team is pushing out here, not even having to pop the Uber yet. They want to try and uh, find the enemy medic before they do that. Ranga eating a lot of damage from that uh, that scatter gun, and here comes the Uber now. Wireless Fox was unable to save his players, so that's uh, not really good. He's, he does have the demo man up, and that demo is going to try and capture the medic here. Uh, I, guess, I feel like we're playing chess now, but there you go. Wireless Fox, Jake Steele, both down. That is get five, losing almost everyone, and the Saints losing nobody. So they're going to push forward very, very quickly here and possibly even bring it to 4-3 to three because they're going to have a huge, huge uber advantage if they can capture second, which they're doing right now, and then they can get on the last with their uber. On time, that is. I think they should win this round. Although they are pushing just a little bit early here without the uber, and I, uh, I don't agree with this. Their enemies are all 6 up right now. Uh, they're taking too much spam. Yeah, okay, they do back out. They were just testing the waters there, but I swear, like, if they were testing the waters and there had been a sniper, then that would have been an utter failure of a push. So that was a very risky move for them to make. Nonetheless, they now have the Uber, so let's find the, uh, actually Frugal might take most of this. Eats a, a bit of a sticky trap, and he's now having to watch for pills. Oh, he eats that one! So close to dying, but, uh, Uber is now popped. Frugal misses that jump, and there is a sniper up here now, but it's a little bit too late. Why, 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 it does die. And there goes Wireless Fox, so no Uber on defense. I think the Saints should be able to have it. They just got to watch for these stickies. They got to watch for actually a lot of players here who I think. Oh, nice kill by Frugal, but I think that uh, Blue Team is going to have this defense. Zod doing his best to try and stop this scout. The scout ends up killing Jake Steele. Well, Jake killed himself. But Za finishes off that scout, so it is barely a hold by Is This CS? No, I'm asking you, is, is this CS? No, it's TF2, just kidding. And Blap 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 running in there. Yeah, they, they can't actually recapture second. So they do need to back up once again. And once again, red team pushing in here with uh, with no Uber, which is a little scary to see them do because, of course, there could always be a sniper. There could always be something to uh, assassinate that medic. So you really got to watch it. Jake's setting up stickies on the left-hand door there, so he wants to make sure he knows when that door opens. And no, he doesn't. He just wants to go over here and start spamming his opponents and trying to keep them away. Nyx Knight is on the spy right now. No, okay, he's not. Never mind. I thought he was considering going defensive spy, but not really. Guan is now just clearing away some stickies at this door. And we're once again in a little bit of a stalemate, although here comes the blue or the red push. I'm sorry, right now. Good Uber to save that soldier. But was not able to save the demo man, interestingly enough. And that's gonna be huge, because if you don't have a demo man pushing into last, then you're not gonna be able to sticky up that point and prevent your opponents from standing on it. Mr. Slynn eat a lot of damage there, and Wireless Fox now has 100%, so he... Yeah, they are going to push back out on this, I think, on team. Is this CS? They will push back out. They will probably... Ooh, Wall of Flesh, though, in right. such a good All position here. I think he's going to sneak around for a back cap. He could get it. Be really careful about... No, it's too late. He spots a soldier, and the soldier spots him. He fought the law, and the law won. Find Nick's Knight. Nick's Knight, you're the law for now. But the Saints here having to back up quickly. They did get the kill on Nick's Knight there, so it looks like the law didn't win for long. 
Uh, the rule of law slowly eroding in this land of Team Fortress 2. But I do think the Saints will be okay here. They lost Mr. Slynn, though, so they need to get a pop out of Wireless Fox quickly. And, yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. They do collapse in there, forced to pop out of Wireless Fox, and there's only three players left for our blue team. Uh, this is actually not good for them at all. They've, uh, they've been, like waiting to pop their Ubers for just way too long. They've lost too many players most of the time, and so uh, they still hold on to second, and Jake Steele and Za both getting some good kills there. Wireless Fox gets a needle kill as well. We missed that, but uh, he got Guan, the scout. The Saints only have one player left. It is their medic, and he's he might not even be able to use this spawn. Uh, the rest of his team, no, they'll be able to respawn in time. He's going to have most of his players spawning in here with him. And there they are. But there are a bunch of players right now on the middle point for our blue team is this CS. And they will now... Oh, wow, be careful about that. Uh, but no, they will now start pushing towards the second point. They want to take the yard as quickly as possible. They're going to have a big uber advantage. And so the Saints pretty much just standing out here and going to try to deal some damage. Force an uber, the early uber pop if it is at all possible, which it should be because these are some nasty, nasty jokes. Um, and no, this is not like a, a s and convention. They're just choke points that are nasty to push through. Come on, guys. Get your head out of the gutter. Wireless Fox doesn't want to pop the sewer, but he's probably going to have to. There you go. Jake Steele's so hurt right now. And they end up losing Rocket Wizard because they were trying to keep Jake Steele alive. Uh, and meanwhile, there's fighting going on behind them. So this push not really working very well for the Is This CS team. They waited too long. Their opponents now have an Uber that is pushing out and dealing some damage itself. Um, but yeah, get five losing most of their players now. Nick's Knight trying to take out Mr. Slim, but I don't think he even connected a single rocket. And so the Jam Town Jesus Jamboree, the Saints, are now backed up onto their second point. Guan did find the demo, and Jake Steele ends up uh, eating a rocket there from Frugal to finish him off. And now the Saints are pushing right back out to Yard. So uh, when the Saints go marching in to the middle point, we... I'm, I'm going to be interested to see whether they can get any kills. And it looks like they have found Mr... Yeah, they are, I'm sorry, Mr. Slain. Wireless Fox. Uh, Frugal dealt one rocket worth of damage and is now just trying to spam so that the scouts retreating will take some damage. He'll keep them on the back foot for that much longer. The Saints, once again, going to push towards their opponent's yard. They've got an uber advantage, so they should be able to take this. Wall of Flesh. Wow, nice kill on Blab Blab around that corner. And they, they actually were just handed yard um, because Wireless Fox wants to build that uber up. He didn't want to die while trying to delay the capture. So uh, the second point here is going to get capped. And now the Saints, who, by the way, have tied it up. It's 3-3. Three to three, uh, Could actually bring out the lead. Uh, Wireless Fox, 100%. There you go. He did grab that uber just the very last second. And that's going to help them defend this point for a little while longer. Wall of Flesh did just die, and Wireless Fox making sure the rest of the team can force the Saints back in a second. And that's pretty much what's happening. So what's happening with me is work is getting crazy, and uh, I hardly have time to do anything now. It sucks. It sucks. But they also pay me, so I guess I can't complain all that much. Um, the Saints, though are on the second point. They are using a sniper, so they're going to go for a pick here. This is a this is a tactic that you'll see a lot. Oh, a nice headshot on Jake Steele. He can't find him to finish him off. And he actually did. Wow. That's ridiculous. I would not have gotten that shot. But he did finish him off. So now there's no demo man. There's not going to be any sticky traps. I think that the Saints are probably going to push in on this pretty soon. Wall of Flesh looking for the medic. And he... Wow, what? He ended up taking down that soldier. Instead. I thought he got the medic, which would have been crazy. Crazy bananas. But there you go, a complete wipe out there. Once that demo man was down, that was the cue to push, and it was perfect. Well executed for the Jam Town Jesus Jamboree. So uh, they are now in the lead, not for the first time, but um, I think they only won like one round. I don't even know, maybe for the first time. But it's four to three. And so how much time is left? Seven eleven. Um, not the store. Seven minutes and eleven seconds. As Jake Steele jumps out here, tries to uh, get his, his rollout perfect. He did take that fall damage, which I've seen some demos not take fall damage there. But, you know, it doesn't matter too much. He grabbed the health kit. Everything is okay with the world. The soldiers are going to be jumping all over the place. Good jumps by Rocket Wizard to try and hit that scout. Jake Steele ends up getting a nice uh, pill on Wall of Flesh. The blue team very, very damaged right now, and they are actually backing out because of it. But Ranga goes down as well, and I think they really need to stay in here. And actually, uh, Frugal did stay in. Not, or I'm sorry, Nick's Knight stayed in here from uh, Is This CS. Not a lot 
of health left, but he was he had a good position. He was standing up on those crates, nobody could hit him, so there you go. Both teams have their Uber now, but uh, the is this CS team hanging out on the middle point. And Ranga just trying to catch up with the rest of the team. Let's see. Okay, Jake Steele rushing out here, and he might take most of this Uber if they have to pop, which they don't want to. Yeah. So uh, Get5 has just forced their opponents out of yard without having to pop the Uber and juggling this soldier. Mr. Selin ate a lot of damage there as well. Going to have to be really careful about how they engage this. They do not want to pop their Uber early. The Saints, I mean, they, they could feasibly just sit back on last and or even on second and just try to wind down the clock because they do have... The, uh, the time advantage and the points right now to back it up. But they had to pop that Uber just a little bit early, and now the blue Uber's coming in. It's going to last a couple of seconds longer than our red Uber. Mr. Slynn needs to get out of there, and he's getting pressured now by a scout. I don't think he's getting out of there at all. Uh, MC trying to stop this, and Mr. Slynn, no, does get taken out there right before Wipe Wipe Out was killed by Wall of Flash. That sucks, but nobody was there to help him except the demo, and a demo has a tough time killing scouts, as you can see. Uh, Wall of Flesh trying to get some damage down on Wireless Fox as well, but it's just two players left alive for the Saints. Only going to be one after this, and they couldn't kill Wireless, so that's going to mean a big Uber advantage for the blue team. And they're going to push in, possibly, just on the player advantage they have. 4v3, there they go. Nope, they just sent the demo. Jake Steele, who is actually sticking up the point. Oh, wow, look at that. That medic just walked the wrong way. Mr. Slynn eats that. And Jake Steele, actually, with another nice little pipe there, uh, causing Ranga to fall to his death. So... That was, like, one of the best demo man jumps into last point that I've ever seen. It worked out really, really well. Jake Steele brings it up to 4-4. Four to four. So it's uh, it's down to this last round, guys. That's where we are. It is tied up, as Wireless Fox has so eloquently put it in the, in the, uh, the chat there. And it's all down to this. All the marbles. I don't know if they're actually playing for, like, a playoff spot or whatever. Uh, I'd have to check that out, but I think both these teams may already be in the playoffs? I don't know. Um, regardless, I'll probably put that in the description because I do need to check that out. Uh, regardless, they are playing a hard-fought game here as the Saints are getting pressured by a scout right now, but they've kept their medic alive for the moment. Nick's Knight down to two health, and he might end up being the first casualty of his mid. No, it was Wall of Flesh, actually. It was the first casualty of the midpoint. A lot of players hurt on Is This CS right now, and there they go. They do lose Za, who has been doing a really good job this game. Um, yeah, he's still top fracking on his team. Along with the demo, though. Jake Steele doing a crazy job as well. And so, ooh. Some heavy damage coming into Mr. Slim, who should be able to stay alive for long enough to deal with this. And there you go, Rocket Wizard ends up eating a sticky from uh, MC, I'm sorry. And that is not the same MC who plays StarCraft. Ranga now trying to deal with the scout behind and should be able to do just that. Although Wap Wap did get the kill on Saint Guan, so at the very least uh, it's going to be 5 against 3 instead of 6 against 3. Or 6 against 4. I don't know if that was a good player, really. Or, I'm sorry, I don't know if that was a good trade. <laughs> good player, ha! <laughs> Wap 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 is going to take me off his friends list. I'm going to feel so sad because I just called him a bad player. That's not what I meant, but I don't think that was a good trade that he got there. Oh, Fox did just get killed by Frugal, who was jumping around behind. Frugal's finally dead, but there goes the rest of the uh, Get 5 team here. I think Nick's Knight really hurt. Not going to be able to deal a lot of damage there to his opponents who are getting healed up very quickly. The Saints uh, could just get on to last and end this game right now. How much time is even left? Uh, about two and a half minutes, but it doesn't matter. There you go. That is the game. Damn Town Jesus Jamboree in one of the closest ESEA Open games this season. They took it, and they took it handily. There you go, 5-4. to four. Guys, do hit subscribe on YouTube.com slash FatMop, Twitch.tv slash FatMop. Uh, I always appreciate your rates, your comments, everything else, because I do love having you guys help me spread the word about competitive TF2. Uh, here, XTV, Vanilla, wherever you like to watch, Griever TV for the Australian scene. I am going to sign out, but... You stay classy.